So when you have too much of problems on your Windows operating system, you finally decide to reset your PC. But there comes another problem. It gives you an error that there was a problem resetting your PC and that period of time it really become very frustrating because now you don't know what to do next. But no need to worry, today in this video guys I will be sharing the complete way to fix this problem so that you can easily reset your device without any issue. And before moving with the solution, if I talk about the reason, the simple reason is there is some kind of problem with the reset tool and that exactly first we have to fix. Alright, so click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes. Now here exactly what we will be doing, we will be disabling the recovery environment for a while and then we will re-enable it back. So type a very simple command, reagent c space for the slash disable. I will leave all this command in the description. Once you hit the enter key, it will say reagency.exe operation successful. Now you will have to wait for a couple of seconds here. Again repeat the same command and instead of disable, now you need to type enable. Next we have to run the dism command. So you will have to type dism space for a slash online space for a slash cleanup dash image again for a slash restore health. Now this command may take some time guys and it will be scanning your windows image file iso file and if there is any kind of outdated file it will try to update it. So you need to keep some patience and wait until it's all been done 100%. And now we are finally ready to run the SFC command that will be fixing any kind of problem related to the Windows tool like reset tool or if I had any kind of issues with the Windows operating system. So just type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit the enter key. So this will be now scanning your system for any kind of integrity violation or if there is any kind of problem with your operating system so you will have to wait again until it's all been 100% completed. And once it will be completed, it says verification 100% complete. On my end, it did not detect any kind of integrity violation, but probably on your side, it will say there was some integrity violation and it has been resolved. Now what you have to do, finally you will have to close it. And instead of going with this setting option of resetting the PC, like from here, from the recovery option, now what I would recommend you, go and click on restart now where it says advanced startup. Click on it. Click on restart now. Let the computer get restarted. Very soon you will be getting this kind of blue page. Here you have to click on troubleshoot. Then you get an option of reset this PC. Click on it. Click on keep my file or remove everything. Next it will ask you the cloud download and the local reinstall. Now one more thing that I would recommend you here, if previously where your reset option was being failed, if you selected the local reinstall, then this time better go and choose the cloud download option. So what will happen? This time it will download a fresh copy of Windows 11 ISO and then it will proceed with the installation. However, it may take some time but that's okay. So I'm very positive after trying this solution, you will be surely able to reset your device. But anyhow, still if you are not able to reset your device and you get the same error message, then you will have to go with the second solution that is the only solution that will be working for you now. So bring up any of your browser, search here Windows 11, download, click on this first website, download Windows 11, Microsoft.com. So as of now, we are downloading the current release that is Windows 11 2025 version 25H2. Now here you need to scroll down to the bottom. Where it says download Windows 11 disk image, choose Windows 11 multi edition, click download now. Choose your desired product language, click on confirm and then click on 64 bit download. So the downloading of the ISO will now be started and it's around 7.2 gigabytes. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. And once the ISO get downloaded, make a right click on it, click on mount. And once the ISO has been mounted, now here if you are on a supported hardware, then you will have to uh, just make a double click on setup.exe, proceed with the Windows 11 installation. And if you get any option, you want to keep the file, so go with keep the file option. 
But if you are on an unsupported hardware where you have forcefully upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, probably clicking on setup.exe will not work for you. Then what you have to do here only from the top, click on the address box, type CMD and hit the enter key. This will bring up the command prompt in the same location, same drive. In order to check all these files, you can type dir and then you have to run a final command that will be setup.exe space forward slash product space server space forward slash compat space ignore warning space forward slash migrate drivers space all. I will leave this command in the description. Once you hit the enter key, it will probably ask you for the permission. Click on yes. And very soon you will be getting Windows preparing. It says install Windows Server. Click change how setup download update. Not right now. Click on next. It will be checking your PC and bypass all kind of requirement. Click on accept. And once you get this option, choose what to keep. You have to select this option, keep file, setting and application. Or either if you want to keep only personal file, you can choose this option. So you click on next and go with the basic installation guys and this time we will not be having any kind of problem and this is even more better option than resetting your device because you are using the latest and the fresh windows 11 iso to reset the entire device so that's all guys for today and hopefully this solution will surely work for you and if yes please hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye